Soyuz 27 rocket and spacecraft carrying Mike Fossum, Satoshi Furukawa, and Sergei Volkov into orbit. Good first stage performance. 102 tons of thrust from the four boosters and single engine. First stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet by 28 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. One minute into the launch of Soyuz 27 to the International Space Station, all systems go. At one minute and 10 seconds, the speed of the rocket should be approximately 1,100 miles an hour. Standing by for the jettison of the four strap-on bursters, one minute 58 seconds into the launch. Launch vehicle parameter is phenomenal. The crew feels great. Everything is okay on board. Hundred and ten seconds of flight. Pitch. One minute, 58 seconds, and the four strap-on boosters have completed their job, dropping away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Escape tower has jettisoned. Separation confirmed. Copy. Stage one separation confirmed. We feel great, and everything is nominal on board. Uh, launch vehicle structural parameter is phenomenal. 150 seconds of the flight, okay. Stage two thrusters are firing nominally. Okay. Second stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter. It has a single engine that uh, provides 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. We'll continue to receive live in-cabin views of uh, Survey Volkov on the left and Satoshi Furukawa on the right. 180 seconds. The uh, vehicle stabilization is stable. Copy. We feel great and everything is fine on board. There's a look at uh, Mike Fossum uh, waving to the camera as he uh, rides the Soyuz vehicle into space. Again, headed for a uh, rendezvous with the International Space Station on Thursday at 4.22 p.m. Central Time. 230 seconds in flight. The vehicle is stable. Copy. We feel great. Everything on board is okay. Stage two thrusters are nominal, 250 seconds in flight. In the upper right-hand corner, you can see that uh, small toy pig that is the mascot of this uh, mission, who was given to Sergei Volkov by his son. Michael, we can see you now. Core booster uh, burns out and separates at an altitude of 105 miles. Standing by for that to occur at the 4 minute 58 second mark. And the visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control confirms second stage separation. The four liquid fueled engines have finished their job for the day and are now dropping away about four minutes of power flight remaining. 
operation. Our crew feels great. Everything on board is okay. Soyuz now being propelled by a single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. Uh, this engine provides 30 tons of thrust and is going to burn for four minutes and two seconds. Three hundred and thirty seconds into flight, the thrusters of stage three are firing nominally. Copy. Three hundred and fifty seconds in flight, system parameters are nominal. Copy. The crew feels great. Everything on board is nominal. Four hundred seconds in flight. Vehicle is stable. Copy. Four hundred and twenty seconds in flight. Pitch, yaw, and rotation are nominal. Copy. So use TMA zero uh, two M functioning as expected. Now seven minutes and thirty seconds into the flight, speed of the Soyuz is now almost thirteen thousand five hundred miles an hour. Four hundred and fifty seconds in flight. Flight is nominal, no issues. We copy. Just over eight minutes into the flight of the Soyuz 27, uh, spacecraft uh, achieving orbital insertion. Flight is nominal, vehicle is stable. Inaudible. Five hundred and twenty seconds. No issues. Flight is nominal. Every done, Mission Control Moscow. Sergey, Satoshi, Michael, we congratulate you on the successful launch. And now Mission Control Moscow will be talking to you. Okay, we copy all. We'll be talking to Mission Control Moscow. Every done, this is MCC Moscow. How about? Moscow, wake up you loud and clear. How us also up you loud and clear. Okay, we are working for page 49. Visiting vehicle report, officer reports that all arrays and antennas have been successfully deployed. APO program. Thank you. Soyuz will now step through a series of time tag commands that allow the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by the onboard computers. Uh, they will repress uh, LED 
is no longer illuminated. We are opening RPV 1 and 2. Copy all. The uh, third stage cutoff and separation is complete. Uh, that single liquid fueled engine has shut down and dropped away at an altitude of 125 statute miles. As we saw by the uh, floating uh, pig toy, uh, they are in uh, microgravity now. Third stage performing an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. The Soyuz capsule and crew uh, inside now safely in orbit. Should be at an altitude of about 143 by 118 miles. That orbit uh, will be increased uh, bit by bit over the course of the next two days, putting it uh, in proximity with the International Space Station for that uh, 4.22 p.m. Central Time docking on Thursday to the Earth-facing port of the Zarya module, known as Rosviet or MRM-1. At 23, 23, 40, parameter 11, 800, inaudible 12, 846, 15, 865, copy all. Aboard the International Space Station, uh, there are future crewmates, Commander Andrei Borisenko and Flight Engineers Ron Garin and Alexander Samokotiaev uh, uh, watching the video that is being uplinked from Mission Control Houston of the launch. Flight Director Brian Smith and his team here are monitoring uh, the systems of the International Space Station as the uh, expedition crew aboard uh, winds down its day. Moscow, are you done? Go ahead. We are ready to give you KDU parameters. We are ready to copy. 17, 18.1, 19.266, 20.24.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4, 